Hey guys, welcome. Okay, so uh, what are we going to do today? Well, the event is still running. So uh, I need to do the art god quest so that <laughs> I can get to the, to the event. I know I can just start the skip, but I want to try as much as possible to to meet the prerequisite quest so yeah let's go and uh do the art pod quest and continue Okay. Sorry, I'm late. It took some convincing for the master and mistress to believe that Miss Dunyarzad was only sitting in the port for a while because she was in a bad mood. Anyway, I guess I should be thanking you. I haven't seen Miss Dunyarzad that happy in a long time. If it wasn't for you two, she probably would have been caught and dragged back much earlier. You sure sound a whole lot nicer than when we first met, Dia. Who would have thought you had such a soft spot for Dunyarzad? It's called being a professional. I'm a bodyguard, and I work for whoever's paying. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Dia's blushing. Yeah, that's a blush if I've ever seen one. Uh, listen, you two. I don't expect to be working for Miss Dunyarzad very long, but I hope to finish things on a positive note if possible. Let's cut the chit-chat and head into the Citadel. We'll see if the person I know has a way for you two to meet with the Lesser Lord. Alright. <laughs> Thanks a lot, De uh, Dea. This is really helpful. But wait, aren't we back at the Aram... The Aramite? Oh, hey, Chief. Ha, <laughs> Dea! What are you doing here? And well, well, didn't expect to see you three together. We've already asked this guy. <laughs> I take it you all know each other already? Or maybe there is some kind of inside info. Mm -hmm. We met this morning after the Adventurers Guild pointed us to Ozfan for more info. No kidding. Huh. So, where's Ruksha? I thought I'd help these two out by asking about the theft. Anything you can tell him? Rukshaw's gone over to the Academia. The Grand Sage recently ordered Sumero City to begin bolstering its defenses. So people from all over have been called back to the city. Why? <clears throat> Since you've already mentioned the theft, I suppose I might as well tell him what we know. Wait, what theft? Appreciate it, Chief. Uh, theft? Sorry, what the heck are you guys talking about? Okay, so it, it wasn't mentioned before yet. <laughs> Just recently, the Academia lost something. And there's a chance the item is connected with the Dendro Archon. This case might just somehow help you in meeting her. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to look at it. But if you ask me, the case is more about the Academia than anything else. Yeah, since it, since it was said that they didn't like the less, uh, Lesser Lord Kusanali, I pretty much doubt they would actually help us in meeting meeting the new Dendro Archon. Let me fill you in. 
The Academia recently sent a convoy to pick up an important package from Aru Village. Word got out, and the convoy was robbed on its way back. The Grand Sage took the whole matter very seriously. Not only did he dispatch the Matra, but also enlisted our help in the search for leads. All we know so far is that whatever was stolen is currently in Port Ormos. You two have heard of Port Ormos, haven't you? It's the largest commercial port in all of Sumeru. You can travel there by leaving Sumeru City and heading south along the river. The Academia's grip isn't long enough to reach all the way to Port Ormos, so the city's a little more laid back, meaning the population's also a mixed bag. You never know who you'll meet there. Oh. Apparently what was lost has a great deal to do with the Akasha, knowledge, and even the gods. I'm afraid I don't have any other details for you, though. Wait, if I remember correctly, they said that the Gnosis was something, uh, was made use for the Akasha. They said it was before the Dendro Archon died. But if anything, I think the Academia may have actually stolen the Gnosis and didn't give it to Lesser Lord Zanali. If that had been true, I heard it from somewhere, though. No, I think it, it was mentioned here. Hmm. If you're interested, maybe you could head to Port Ormos and ask around yourselves. If you want my advice, try introducing yourselves as students of the Academia once you're there. Huh? Students of the Academia? Are you serious, Chief? All the Academia students are in Sumeru City, you know. Why should they pretend to be students in Port Ormos? Yeah. <laughs> if you're also interested, just go there and see what happens. Oh, so Dea is coming with us. Count me out. I've got plenty oh. of work to do here for the Homayani family. Oh, that's too bad. And take it from me. If you two really do decide to visit Port Ormos, you best watch your backs. Let's just say that the Eremites there aren't nearly as friendly as those here in Sumeru City. There are even some extremists who go around shouting slogans like, Retake Sumeru for the Scarlet King. Word is that more and more are joining their movement. They're becoming a real headache for Chief and the others. You bet they are. The Scarlet King's been dead for thousands of years. Now they start spreading rumors of his return. Ridiculous. Not everyone's like you, Chief. Even the desert natives who abandon their homes in the wilderness still wish to have a god of their own. <sighs> well, Traveler, that's about all the information we have for you. Thanks, Dia! And you too, Osfond! Since we've gathered all we could for the moment in Sumeru City, let's head to Port and see what we can find next. Miss Dunyarzad is looking forward to seeing you both at the Subzerus Festival, so be sure to get yourselves back here in time for that. Don't worry, we will. Good. Then we'll see you both at the Subzerus Festival. All right, all right. So, uh, let's go. But before we do that, uh, I want to... I want to, uh, open the, uh... The waypoints near here. So where is this? Is it above? Is it inside a building?
Or it's probably above. So I guess there's no other choice for me, but... Hmm. Oh, wait. I found at least one. Is there really no other way? But to scale the the walls. Points down to Port Ormos. First, um, where is it? Oh. Oh, no. I need to work on Hazo. Hmm. It's so. It's... Oh no. Oh no. Why are you going after me? Gather. Don't get too close. Huh? Rain outlines your fate. <laughs> you should have just let leave left me alone. Man, that's a lot of raw meat. Wait, this is not... Is this not... Fort Ormos? Oh! It's not. Okay. So I guess uh, we'll be traveling by waypoint. Or maybe we can travel by... by those? But I'm not sure...
No, not all of them. <laughs> if you guys want to, uh, <coughs> you need to catch me from the waters, by the way. Wait. Oh! An oculus in the middle of the water. Yes. Thank you. I guess we can just... Alright. <laughs> now, where... Wait, what? and have a good look yourself. Traditional spices of the highest quality, made with pride and experience. <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making this up. <clears throat> Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict. But does the core of 30 care? <sighs> and that's not all. Did you know that... Know it all? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why does this guy somehow... I, I've just only read the know-it-all, but for some reason I am reminded of Reckless Paladin. Reckless Paladin. Wow! Talk about hurly burly! This place is busy! Oh, well, guess that's only to be expected for the largest port in Sumeru. Uh, maybe it's because of what Dia told us earlier? But Baiman can't seem to shake the feeling that there's also danger lurking in these crowds. Ooh. Let's get our bearings so we can start looking for leads. We know that whatever the Academia lost is related to the gods. But other than that, we don't have much else to go on. Hmm... Osfun told us to try posing as academia students while asking around. Paimon checked the Akasha on the way here, and the academia doesn't seem to have any research facilities <coughs> in Port Ormos. Wow, Paimon is being, being bright this time. <laughs> Paimon doesn't get it. Won't we I mean, even more I mean she's, she's going around thinking seriously right now. And asking about the stolen items? Right, we should figure that out before doing anything else. For the figuring that out could be crucial for the rest of our investigation here. Well, given all the people that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, Paimon bets we could find it in the market. Let's ask around and see what we come up with. Oh, there's the, the waypoint. <laughs> I got more about the waypoint. Let me just... Yeah. 
Taylor. Welcome. Welcome. Now, um, uh, how can I help you too? Uh, hi there. We would like to ask you a question. Um, do students from the academia ever come to Port Ormos? <laughs> of course. Especially around this time of year. Students from Sumero City that are about to graduate often come to Port Ormos to cut loose a little. Many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the academia, let alone graduate. But those who finish their studies and go on to become full-time researchers at the academia have it even harder. Sure, we may not be Sumero City, but Port Ormos offers beautiful scenery and a stress-free environment. Some even say it's good luck to come to Port Ormos, so students and researchers come flocking here when things get to be too much at the academia. Ah, you see over there? Those are students from the academia. Maybe even a little worried. They've been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here they a few days serious, ago. They serious, maybe even a little worried. It was a connected sentence. It was a connected answer. If you ask me, the life of a merchant is better. So long as the Akasha teaches us what we need, then life is good. Hmm. Those students seem to be discussing something. Let's see if we can listen in. <laughs> Paime, don't, don't speak out loud what we're going about to do. All my commissions are making jewelry for newlyweds the most. <laughs> No good. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. Not to mention that a bunch of scary-looking Aramite mercenaries have been posted along the streets now. They're probably looking for the lost item. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite factions in Port Ormos. If we choose to move on our own, then it would be wise to steer clear of them. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about the Scarlet King and some resurrection. I've even heard that the Citadel of Regzar is starting to get fed up with them. What was that group called again? Ein something or other? They're called Ein El Akhmar. Today, I heard that the thing we're after might be in their yeah. possession at the moment. Ein El Amar. I. Wait, come again? Don't you see? Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of thing. They're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. As long as they know you're a student, then deals can be made. I've heard that Ein el Hakmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. Supposedly, if you're willing to part with half a million Mora, they'll give you info on anything. Mm -hmm. Half a million mora? Wait, wait, did you say half a million? If information alone costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy what we're looking for? <sighs> I guess we might as well give up on trying to graduate this way. I wouldn't worry too much. Our field of research is very niche. Who else could possibly be after that kind of shady knowledge? I bet it's practically worthless to anyone aside from us. Well, I guess you never know. Then the only thing left for us now is to find a way in. Why don't we all just pool our money together and pay for the information? It, it it actually depends. I mean, depending on the content of the information, it could be useful to just about anyone. Whoa! Did you hear that? A niche field of research and shady knowledge? It all sounds pretty suspicious to Paimon. Is knowledge something people just buy and sell like that? It's very suspicious indeed. Whatever was stolen from the academia was also related to knowledge. So, what's your plan? Uh, let's try talking to one of the Aramites. Let's go to Jafar Tavern. Hmm. Let's try talking to one of the Aramites. But the Aramites aren't aren't sort of friendly so let's just go to the tavern because we were warned already that the Aramites are not as friendly as the ones in Sumeru. Wait, didn't you hear what 
They just said buying information is going to cost us half a million mora. Have you lost your mind? Rely information is worth the price. I won't let them off easy if it turns out to be a scam. Oh, all right. Paimon never thought she'd agree to parting with that kind of mora. But if you know what you're doing, then we should give it a shot. Don't worry, Paimon. I'm not going to let you starve. <laughs> I but do we have the money though? The most. <laughs> uh, wait. Where do we check? Where do we check our Mora? Hmm. I think this. Uh, I don't think we have enough for a million mora. <laughs> half a... Half a million mora. Wait. Half a million mora, that would be 500,000, right? It is, it, it is. <laughs> Half a million is 500,000, so I think we do... We have enough and plenty more to be left. Okay, so, uh, let's go. Wait, what's going on? Wait, just a minute. Oh, I can go now! Import Ormos to Mero, there is a shop named Ascar. Want to come in so I can cross the skin. Oh, I can go now, actually. But wait, let me just there, um <clears throat> Fate must have brought us together. Uh let me just see how far I can go. Wait. Why are you What's going on? In your dreams, maybe. Just forget about it, will you? Uh, there's a waypoint over here. <laughs> waypoint! Let me have the waypoint. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Uh, where are we supposed to go? Port Ormos is pretty great. There's so many new and interesting not to mention all the tasty food. <laughs> Paimon, we're here on a mission, okay? Don't forget. Sumeru's largest commercial port sure lives up to its name. Look at all the merchants. And everyone seems excited just to be here. Not everyone, I'm sure. No one quite as excited as Paimon. Uh, how did things end up like this? Hmm? All thanks to your artistic license. That's how. <sighs> I should have made you wait until we got an update from Tanja. But when I finished the prototype r, &R yesterday, you agreed that the kids would like it. <sighs> That's why we tried bringing it out for a test run today. Oh, it's the event. I just... I just triggered the event. Well, I never thought they'd dislike it so much. Oh, uh, what should we do? There we go. They sound distinctly less than excited. Whoa. Yeah. Compared to everyone else, they seem really down in the dumps. Let's go find out what's going on. Oh, hey there. Paimon's name is Paimon, and he's a traveler who is just passing by. Is there something bothering you? 
Oh, I noticed you two a moment ago. Welcome to Akara Crafts, the best toy store in Port Ormos. Uh, at least for now. Uh, what's bothering us is this prototype Aranara. Uh, to start with, could I uh, get your opinion on it? Prototype Aranara? Uh, you mean this wood curving here? It looks like a mushroom monster to Paimon. <laughs> Sounds like the name of a weapon, <laughs> but it doesn't look very happy. Oh, no, like no. The, uh, the prototype Aranara is something that brings joy and laughter to children. Uh, at least in theory. <laughs> <laughs> Not the first negative feedback we've had. <laughs> Not the first negative feedback. So, what exactly is a prototype Aranara? So, for context, Aranara are magical creatures in Sumeru fairy tales that live in the forest. For the store's 20th anniversary, we plan to release a series of hand-carved toys based on the Aranara stories that kids know and love. Oh, it's because they can't see it. And the only ones who can see it are supposed to be kids. Right, the ones with... Uh, what was her name again? Hi, Hi, Hypatia? This is a prototype we made to get an idea of how they would react. Hypatia? But when we put it out there, the reaction was not quite what we'd anticipated. They thought it looked like a mushroom too, huh? <laughs> no, worse than that, actually. I can't quite describe it, though. And I'm also not very good with kids. Maybe you could ask them for yourselves. This is not an Aranara. Huh, no way. I've read Uncle Tanja's Aranara and the Ill Little Fungus. It says that Aranara are supposed to be chubby and squishy. The carving looks nothing like that. Mm, toys do look better when they're round and chubby. <laughs> Uncle Tanja said in Aranara's <coughs> vow that you can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. Just this Uncle Tanja. Nothing like an Aranara. Ouch. Ooh, didn't put his heart into it, huh? Oh, sounds like one of those things that's easier said than understood. Cassid and Alia didn't like this carving, but I think it's okay. It doesn't look too happy, so it's kind of pitiful in a cute way. Oh, a positive review! <laughs> yeah. So I would totally ask my dad to get it for me, if it wasn't meant to be an Aranara. Oh, it's still a negative. Oh, well, that took a sudden turn for the worse. Well, we... We asked the children for their opinions. We have seen an Aranara, actually. It's those... It's those little ones that... That we saw at Hapacious area. Oh, how did it go? Uh, has it maybe, uh grown on them at all? I'm starting to understand how you feel. Unfortunately, no. Sorry to no, this is such a shame. Uh, why isn't Tondra back from Gondarvaville yet? Oh. He's at Gondarvaville? Oh, the kids kept mentioning an Uncle Tondra too. Who is he exactly? Well, we've been at Gondarville, but we haven't met anyone named Tondra. Uncle Tanger is a famous children's author here in Port Ormos. He wrote quite a few stories in the past, but uh, none of them were popular among children. Uh, just like our prototype Aranara. So why were they... If none of them were popular among the children, why does the children keep on referring to him when it comes to the Aranara? But around a year or so ago, he suddenly had a eureka moment or something. And suddenly, the children loved every one of his stories. Oh. That's right. My little Gafari loves his stories, too. The whole reason we decided to make these carvings was because we saw just how popular the Aranara are among children. 
because he described the Aranara, is that it? And when children, because we asked Tanja for guidance, oh. but right after he agreed, he went off to Gondarvaville with his son to look for inspiration. They haven't returned yet. We were running out of time, so we had no choice but to carve an Aranara based on our own imaginations. As you can Not see, much to do with this that. was a result. <sighs> oh, we have to do something. Hey, since you're the famous traveler, could you do us a favor and look for Tanjir in Gundarvaville, hmm? Uh, he doesn't have to come in person if he's too busy. Just ask him to write down his suggestions and bring his notes back to us, uh, if you could. Uh, please, if only to put a smile on the children's faces. Uh, and, of course, you'll be well compensated for doing us the favor. <laughs> Put a smile in the children's faces. Are you sure it has nothing to do with needing to sell them? <laughs> they seem pretty desperate. <laughs> Let's help them out to see the kids smile. And also for our reward. Okay, we'll do it to see the kids smile. Okay, we'll do it so that Paimon can get her reward. <laughs> Yay! Rewards! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> You reward sucker. <laughs> okay, let's go to Gandaville. Let's head back to Gandaville. Wait. Um. <laughs> okay, so uh, I am not sure if I'm going to continue the Archon class, or I should just switch to the uh, current uh, event quest since I've already opened it anyway. Um, wow, exquisite camera. A new one! Alright, that's it. Let's, let's just... Let's just go for this... Uh... Let's go for the for the event quest. <laughs> Let's cut our AQ uh AQ handling short. No 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 wait come back come back come back. We might alert the forest rangers. Yeah, it, instead of uh, instead of Thandra, I think the forest rangers are going to come to us instead. Hey, buddy, what's your name? What are you doing here all alone? Do you live in Gondarville? Hmm. Is that? Regardless, don't worry. As a trainee forest ranger, I'll do everything I can to help you. Oh, it's. It's Kali. Where are you? Hi, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm Rosie. Don't mind me. I know the way back to Gondarvaville. When people say, don't mind me, what they really mean is don't worry about me. That's all the more reason not to leave you alone. Hmm? Someone's crying. <laughs> oh, no. Hey. Happening. Don't cry. What's wrong? Take your time. You can tell me all about it. Huh. That voice sounds familiar. Paimon's heard it somewhere before. It's Kale. <laughs> oh, it's Kale! And a child who seems to be upset. Oh, let's go say hi. Pretty well. Thanks for asking. I'm helping. 
helping Master Tainari patrol the forest. What brings you here? We're here on an errand. We heard your voice, so we thought we'd come ask you for help. You seem kind of busy, though. <laughs> um, I'll be fine. You go help them first, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm okay, really. Uh, the sand got into my eyes, that's all. That's... that's definitely a lie. What a well-mannered child. We can't just leave him here. Sands? There is not a lot of sand in a forest. You keep saying you're mm. okay because you don't want us to know what you're upset about, right? Maybe. That's exactly why you have to get it off your chest. Here's a trick. If you're keeping a secret that bothers you, you can try telling it all to a tree hollow. Uh, a tree hollow? Yeah, a tree hollow. Do you know Tanja's stories? The R&R &R living in the forest will patiently listen to every word children say. Maybe there really are R&R &R living in the tree hollows that will listen to you. You like the R&R &R stories too? Of course! I love them! Oh, people who like R&R &R are the best! <laughs> okay, I'll try telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Thanks, Miss Forest Ranger. You know everything. <laughs> Aw, you're just exaggerating. Anyway, I'm trying to be like my friend, who always does her best to cheer people up when they seem sad. And that's definitely Amber. <laughs> so, how are you doing? Feeling any better now? The forest is very dangerous, so how about we stick together? Sure. Wow, Chloe's so good with kids! A forest ranger you can trust. <sighs> well, helping children who are lost in the rainforest is all part of a forest ranger's duty. So, what was it you wanted help with? You're not lost too, are you? No, no, we actually want to go deeper into the forest. You tell Kali about the situation at Akara Crab. Okay, so you're looking for a children's author from Port Olmos called Tanja. And he's here in Gandarverville, looking for inspiration. The exact author that you were just talking about earlier. Uh, wait, when you say Tanja, do you mean the Tanja? Yes, the Tanger. That's right! So he's in the area? Looking for inspiration for a new story as we speak? No, <laughs> they definitely want to go and take his autograph. This is amazing. <sighs> Can you wait for me for a second? I'll run Razi back to Gandarverville and then I'll be right back. I've always been curious what the man behind those incredible stories is like in person. Maybe he's a genius who spends a lot of time in solitary confinement. Maybe he's from a wealthy family. Maybe he's one of the Lesser Kusanali's familiars. Oh? Huh? This is interesting. Why would you... Why would the traveler think that? Tanja's just a normal guy. <laughs> Even so, he must be more creative than most people. Or did he probably, uh... Uh, what you call that? Went deeper into... Uh... What you call that? The mode where, um... Hapatia was trying to get... To get to? Uh, wait! Hold on! Rossi, do you mean you've met Tanja before? Mm-hmm. He's my dad. Oh! <laughs> we met the son! Your dad? <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, Paimon sees. That guy at Akara Crass told us that Tanjir brought his son along with him. So he meant Razi. Why are you here on your own, though? Did you and Tanjir get separated? I... <sighs> we had an argument. I was upset, so I ran off here by myself. Uh... Oh, in that case, we should take you back to Gundarverville first. Then we'll look for your dad and tell him where you are. No, I'm I'm good. Thanks for your advice, Kale. I'm not so upset anymore. 
Come with me. I'll take you to him. Yay! Thanks, Rosie! Paimon thought we'd be spending the whole day looking for him. Woohoo! Oh my gosh! I can't believe I'm actually gonna meet the Tanja! Oh. Oh. What? Is he's upset again? Oh! I already... So this is it? Hmm, so Tanja headed this way. I know this place pretty well. Follow me. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that... That we... We got her? Just from that? Oh, we did. What was written? What did she write? All right, let's give you a bow. Um, an energy, this energy recharge bow, maybe. All right. Since we give, uh, we gave Polly a weapon. Oh! Oh, that's right. Dory actually uses, uh, a, a, a claymore. What's up with this kid, so? <laughs> I mean, uh... Uh, right. Can we use a bell on her? Wait. What, what is her... Her talent stats? Um... Hmm, no. Continuous healing. Max HP. Does that mean that the bell is good for her? Hmm. It certainly means that, uh... She depends on HP, right? So we finally got someone to, to use the bell? Wait a minute. Where? Oh, here. So we finally have someone who we can use the bell on. We can equip the bell on. Rosie, thank goodness I finally found you. What would I do without you, my son? Were you in danger? Did the wild beasts scare you? Did the stars guide your way? Oh, that's pretty deep. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, all thanks to their help. Thank you. Thank you all. 
I dare say that even the most cold-hearted spino crocodile would be moved to tears by your kindness. <laughs> well, I, I guess it's got to do with being an author? Oh, it's nothing. It's all part of my responsibility as a trainee forest ranger. I'm the one who should thank you for creating so many wonderful stories for the children of Sumeru. I, uh, I, I love them too. Really? I didn't know anyone read my stories apart from young children. That must mean you're still in touch with your inner child. <laughs> hmm. Okay, then. I have the inspiration for my next story. It shall be about an Aranara granny who's a child at heart. Mm hmm? Uh-huh. It's... What? Uh, it's an honor to become the source of your inspiration. Uh, Kali, he just said the grandma. <laughs> Whoa. Kali looks like she's about to pass out. Uh, <laughs> hey, Kali. Are you okay? Uh, I I'm okay. Sorry. I, I just got a little too excited. Are you two story lovers as well? Yes, yes! The moment I saw you, the image of an Aura Giant and an Aura Finch traveling together popped into my mind. <clears throat> yep, I'm the Aura Giant and she's the Aura Finch. <laughs> We've been tasked with seeking, with seeking your help. <laughs> Let's go with this one. <laughs> ah, excellent! Improvisation! Yes, mount your trusty steed of imagination and canter through the lush meadows of lyrical expression. You have the potential to become a celebrated storyteller too, you know. Uh, maybe I have an idea of why, uh, Razi is upset. Um, seems like Kanja has a slightly exaggerated view of what it means to be a children's author. Uh. Also, Pana's not a fan! <laughs> Let's put the jokes aside and get down to business. You tell Tandra about the situation at Akara Crafts. Akara Crafts? Akara Crafts. Oh! Oh, right, right. I remember now. That small boat once sailed into the sea of my memory, but before long it floated away over the horizon, never to be seen again. Um, do we have to figure out what we have to do through his uh, riddles? Perhaps for the best. After all, a wild tempest was a raging in Tanger Harbor. Um, what? I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> me, me neither. What should we do? Uh, do you think we should get Tainari to take a look at him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go get Tignari and have a look at him. <laughs> I think he needs help. Dad's saying he forgot about helping the people at Akara Crafts learn more about Aranara because right now he has something more important to do. Oh, thank you, Rossi. You're, uh, you're the interpreter for your dad, just as Oz is the interpreter for official. <laughs> that this kid is definitely Tanjir's son. <laughs> Wait, no, this isn't the time for all that. Tanjir, your help is pretty vital to the toy makers. You gotta do something. But the garden that blooms before my eyes is of greater importance. For therein lies the beautiful Patisara that all the children of Sumeru dream of. Oh come on! You don't you don't have to go back to uh to the port. They did say that they just need your notes about what the Aranaras look like. I, Tanjir, have found evidence of Aranara activity right here in the Avidia Forest, conclusively proving that Aranara not only exist in stories but in real life too. If I manage to document the first real-life Aranara sighting, the petty problems that perplex Akara Crafts will be untangled in no time! Meanwhile, I may well be able to leverage this to assume leadership of the Academia. 
then all across Sumeru will know of the great Tanja living in humble port Ormos. Um, uh, no. Uh, no, no. That would probably not happen. Uh... He's pretty high up there, certainly for sure. <sighs> I think I know why Rosie's frustrated now. Um. <laughs> oh, Kali, are you disappointed? I haven't written any papers <laughs> myself, but I think you need to have a bunch of them approved by the review board before entering the academia. You also need a detailed and objective experiment record. Uh, anyway, Tanja, what did you mean by evidence of R&R &R activity? The hook's what's important in a story. The great storyteller Tanjur never gives his audience the bait right away. Come with me. Wait, N not that way. Kale, what's wrong? Uh, uh, nothing, but that way leads us deeper into the Avidia forest. Uh, I'm just concerned for Tanja's safety. And I think I'm starting to understand why Razi and Tanja were fighting. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's something else going on. Maybe that's a secret Razi was keeping. Okay. Follow Tanja. Um. Oh. Do I have to be here? Wait, where is he? Look for the objective in this area? Oh wait, don't tell me it's here. Oh. It's in the water. Just as I expected, the promise of one of my stories has kept you hot on my heels. But this is just an ordinary tree hollow. Heimat's not seeing any evidence of Aranara. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. Look with your heart and you too will understand. Where is the tree hollow, actually? Wait, is it this large one? sure what look with your heart means but anyway let's start by investigating the area around this tree hollow Razi looks like he's constipated dad never used to be like this it's all my fault You guys go ahead. I'm just a little tired. <laughs> you said it yourself, Polly. Never said I'm okay. It means don't worry about me. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. This I'm certain that in a hundred years' time, this line will become a famous proverb in Sumeru. Don't you think? It's this one, right? What it was talking about? Oh, wait. What's this? Hey, look! <clears throat> There's a note here! Could this be the evidence that Tanja was talking about? Uh... The handwriting's so hard to read! It's too hard! I can't remember the names of all these mushrooms. What? Uh, do r and &R need to learn about mushroom <laughs> classification? What? Here's another note that says, This tree hollow is my castle. That sounds more like something an R&R &R from the stories would say. Don't tell me. The person who read this, uh, probably... There's another one here! Hmm. If only I were a clever R&R. &R. A clever 
Aranara. Is the emphasis on clever or Aranara? What is this? Talk to Pandra. It's probably someone is imagining that they're an Aranara. How does it feel to bear witness to a groundbreaking discovery? Exciting, isn't it? They look like messages left by children. Uh, the crude handwriting may look like a child's, but don't forget, we're in the middle of a rainforest. Oh, come on. It, Aranas probably don't speak the same language as humans do. I doubt that a child would be able to reach this deep into the forest, and I doubt even more that they would think of this lowly tree hollow as some sort of impenetrable castle. I boldly hypothesize that this tree hollow is, in fact, the Aranara's Academia. The notes we saw were written by the Aranara themselves. There is no doubt in my mind about that. No. An Aranara it's that wasn't so probably. bright left a note here wishing to become a clever Aranara. <laughs> Kali is becoming disappointed more and more. Oh. I shall craft a new story for them and call it the Aranara in the Tree Hollow. How's that? Don't the very words just conjure up images of Aranara in your mind's eye? No, we don't even know what an Aranara looks like. Is it the one at, the, uh, at uh, uh, Hypatia's neighbors? Uh, nope. Not at all. Well, many an adventurer knows how to take to the skies with their easily visible wind gliders, yet they do not possess the invisible wings of imagination, making it hard for them to keep <laughs> up with my train of thought. How about you, Miss Forest Ranger? Do you soar into the atmosphere on the wings of imagination? Um, I'm sorry to think that Kali doesn't want to take that wind gl that invincible wings of imagination. Huh? Me? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I do, but maybe not? Uh, anyway, it has nothing to do with me, so... Are you sure you're not feeling unwell? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. It's just that... Witnessing Tanja's creative process is a little... Oh. Disappointing. <laughs> Overwhelming. Disappointment! Oh, yes. Y yes Overwhelming. An overwhelming disappointment. <laughs> For now, I've decided to stay here with Razi until we witness the legendary moment when the Aranara appear in this hollow. Don't worry. I uh, know. I won't let the Akara Crafts toy makers down. When a real Aranara appears, their little troubles will be resolved in an instant. I think I know now the reason why Razi ran away and fought with him. It's because he wants to... <laughs> He seems pretty stubborn. Looks like we'll have to stay here and wait a little longer. Or maybe we could go to Hypatia's place and ask for his neighbors. No. I think we should return to our camp first. Tanja, in Aranara and the Three Little Fungus, it says that Aranara are very sensitive creatures. I don't think they'll show up if we stay here. Oh? Was that in the story? Ah, yes, I remember now. Miss <laughs> Forest Ranger, you sure know your stuff. In that case, let's go back to camp and call it a day. We'll continue our search for evidence first thing in the morning. Go to the encampment at night. Okay, let me... Did the Aranara show up? It's not the Aranara! It's Kali! She's gone! 
Right. Oh, Paimon's been worried about Kale since last night. Even though she kept telling us she was okay after we saw the evidence of Arnor activity, she's been acting kind of strange. Maybe Tadra was too much okay, for her. Let's go find her. Hey, look! Aren't these Kale's footprints? But why are they headed towards the tree hollow? Did she want it? Oh, those notes were probably hers. So Kali came back here alone. Is she waiting for the R and R to show up? Those notes were prob. She probably wrote those. <laughs> so that was it. And I thought this was a place nobody knew about. I never thought Tanja would find it, or that I would run into the Traveler and Paimon. <laughs> If I'd known, I would have just told the tree hollow instead of writing it down. There must be another way to practice my handwriting. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I think we hurt her feelings. We did say that it was like a, a, a children's writing. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kale. Now I've created a whole new problem for myself. Hmm. What do I do now? Dress up as an Horanara? No, no, don't do that. Oh, no, 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 that won't work. I should be writing something that an Horanara would never say, so the Tanja won't mistake me for one of them. Oh, but what should I write? Oh, what should I write? Hmm. Oh, I've got it. There's no way Tanja could see this as the work of an Horanara. So the evidence of R and R activity we saw during the day was actually evidence of Kali's activity. Shh, be quiet, Paimon. But why didn't she just tell Tanja? Perhaps that's her secret. Oh right, Kali told Razi that he could tell any secret to a tree hollow. Must be because that's what she does, and now she even writes it down. Kali must have her reason. Yeah, you're right. Keep her secret for her. Let's not get spotted. Oh, looks like she's almost done writing. Let's head back. Yeah, before she spots us. Early in the morning, Tantra excitedly everyone back to the tree hollow. Aha! There's a new note just as I expected. Uh, better not let Tantra see your handwriting. Uh, Kale. Yes, yes! It's the same handwriting, which means it must have been written by the same Aranara. Let's see what it says. Ooh, what could it be? What could it be? <laughs> Look at the face of the traveler. <laughs> oh, come on, tra come on, Aether. Play along, play along. Uh, I want to visit Mondstadt during the Ludi Harp him again? <laughs> I want to visit Martha Junta. <laughs> no, that, that's impossible. This must be some kind of mistake. How could an Aranara go to Mondstadt for the Ludi Harpastum? Even I would never write that into a fairy tale. So, in other words, the notes can't have been left by an Aranara. I uh, yeah. If you ask me, they were probably left by a passing merchant from Mondstadt or something. Definitely not an R and R. No, no, I refuse to believe it. Oh come on, dude. Despite the not Tanja falls into a deep silence when faced by the facts. <sighs> Please help Akara, crap. I can't. <laughs> Why not? What do you mean you can't? It's not like it'll take you a huge amount of effort. It's probably because he really has no idea what an Aranara looks like. You've written so many stories beloved by the children. I'm sure you can help create carvings that are just as successful. I believe in you, Tanger. No! I can't do it. He has never seen an Aranara before. I thought that if I could find an Aranara, I'd be able to help Akara Crafts. But it was someone from Mondstadt all along. But you've managed to write all those stories without ever having seen a real Aranara, right? What makes this so different? Because the kids know what an Aranara looks like. I... 
Rossi, you tell them. Really? Uh, can I? Rossi can see in our and our. Yes, it's fine. Tell them. I know this is the moment you've been waiting for. Okay. Kale, Traveler, Paimon, do you remember when I said that there was a secret I didn't want to tell anyone? Yep, I do. So, Rossi could probably see our Anaras. <sighs> I didn't want to tell anyone the secret, but it made me feel very sad and also turned Dad into a completely different person. So, I think I should tell you. Dad isn't the one who came up with all those Aranara stories. Oh, it was Ross. <laughs> what? Hold on. So if Uncle Tanja wasn't the author, then who was it? Uh, wait, you don't mean... So it was Rossi and Tanja was posing as, as the author? It was me. Well, Dad's that was something. stories in Port Ormos for as long as I can remember. I always got to listen to all his new stories. Every night, Dad would give me a Zaytun peach for dinner, and I'd eat it while he told his stories. The Zaytun peaches were delicious, but Dad's stories were really bad. He always uses sentences that are really hard to understand, and... Strange, uh... Metaphors, I think they're called? Oh... <laughs> And because Rosie's the one who's been telling the story, it was much more easier for the children to understand. But Dad kept on going, telling his stories again and again. Oh, one time, he even borrowed a camera from Lord Sangema Bay's shop and got me to take pictures of him in action. Dad showed me the picture and said that it shall become the precious record of Sumero's best storyteller early in his career. Even though I only had Zaytun peaches to eat and not so great stories to listen to, I was happy. Then one day, I tried telling Dad a story I came up with. Dad seemed really excited from the very beginning. He, he looked really happy. He lifted me up high into the air and told me to continue. He lifted me up so high that I was looking down at him. As I continued with my story, I saw his expression gradually change. And when I got to my favorite part, Dad started crying. I guess he must have been moved by my story. When Dad put me back down, I looked up at him again, but now he had a scary look in his eyes. You remember it so vividly. God. It's not only Rosie. I too remember every detail of what happened that day. So he's been using his son to create stories. After that, I gradually grew in fame and started making money. I became Sumeru's best storyteller, just as I always dreamed. Finally, we could afford more than just Zaytun peaches for dinner. I thought it would make Razi happy. I was really happy at first, but then everyone started calling me Tanja's son instead of Razi. I kind of guessed why, but I also didn't want to believe it. Dad got busier with things that had nothing to do with storytelling. Like that request from Akara Crafts. So I made up my mind that this time, I just want to be good old Rozzy so that Dad will become good old Dad again. Instead of Dad the way he is now, starting every story with, Dedicated to my dearest Rozzy. I prefer my Dad how he used to be, stumbling over words and not knowing how to end the story. That's why I decided to keep how I imagine R and R to look like a secret. Oh. Uh... Wait, Paimon gets it now. <laughs> to sum up, all of Uncle Tanja's fairy tales were actually stories written by Rosie. Yeah, that's the entire thing. And because that's Rosie didn't secret. want Tanja to keep living a lie, he refused to help him with the Kara Crafts Commission. Yes. That's why I tried looking for possible evidence of Aranara. But it turned out that I was just being a clown, as always. And not even a funny one. Yeah, I I, I very much prefer you talking uh, rational like this rather than using uh, 
the metaphors back then. I'm a terrible father. I'm sorry, Rassi. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. And I owe you all an apology, too, for wasting your time. Rossi's the only one who can help Akara Crafts. If you can manage to persuade him, that is. Right now, I think I just want to find a tree hollow and be quiet for a while. Um, are we gonna let this happen? It's up to Rossi. You want me to help Akara Crafts with their carving? Oh, I did mention what the R&R look like in my stories, but to make a carving, we might need more <coughs> details. Kale, Traveler, and Paimon, I might need your help on this one. I've never really left Port Ormos before. This is my first time in Gandarvaville. Well, it's my first time being so far from home. Sumeru is so much bigger than I thought. Seeing new places has given me loads of new ideas for my r and r stories. So I want to visit more places in Sumeru. That way, I can help Akara Crafts create an r and r carving that everyone will love. And I also want to take pictures of Dad everywhere that we travel to. You... You still want me to come with you? Even after all I've done? Yeah, of course. Come on, you're the best dad ever. Huh? This is the happiest Razi has sounded since we met him. I want to thank you, Kale. Huh? Me? I... I didn't do anything to help. Razi probably <laughs> knew. Pro he probably found and out. You told me about telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Oh, so that's what it was. Even though I didn't about. have the time to find a tree hollow, telling everyone my secret made me feel so much better. <sighs> yeah, it's hard to keep too many secrets, and there's no need to hide our mistakes from others all the time. I made a lot of mistakes back in Mondstadt, but when I look back on them, it all feels more like a new beginning. I'm sure this experience will be the same for Tanja. Yes. I'll do my best to become a good father again. Wait. Did you just say you've been to Mondstadt? Uh-oh. <laughs> Was she busted? Uh, um... I just... Uh... Just passed by once. Never mind that. Come on now. Akara Crafts is waiting for us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Razi. Grab that camera and see what hidden inspiration you can discover along the way. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Come on, Dad. <laughs> Razi, slow down and watch your step. Let's catch up with them. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, you will discover all sorts of new and fascinating things while exploring Sumeru, so why not use an exquisitely crafted camera to record them down? While using the camera, if the viewfinder has objects worth keeping a record on off in view, the camera will display information related to them. Adjust your photo taking distance and camera zoom to more easily spot this designated photo target. Also, this camera can all be used in Sumeru. Ah, so... Aww... Wonders what the children thought of the R and R carvings we helped create. Let's go check it out. What? But it's all over. Uh. What is that over there? What? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Are you telling me that's 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 it? Oh. Assemble one complete Aranara carving. Doesn't this look like Dory?
brave and innocent. Oh, okay. No picture speaking. Clever and sensible dust birds, honestly, and greedy shroom boars, and quickly tempered fish, bull, and tigers are all animals that feature frequently in fairy tales. Take some pictures of Samaru's unique fauna as a source of creative inspiration. Different animals found in Sumeru. I know exactly where we can find those. Hmm. It's just near here. I think it was here. Or... Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, okay. That one. Shaggy beasts are nearby. Last got creature scorched. Where I don't see it. Hmm. I don't see anything here. Oh, is that it? Oh no, it's it's uh it's the dog. <coughs> Wait, is that it? I think I'll get the other two waypoints. I remember wait spino crocodiles since they're named after crocodiles they're probably in the water
there it is. That's probably it. But those guys are going to attack us the moment we get near. I knew it. Will they be able to climb up here? Yeah, it's just giving you like that. Wait, did that guy follow that? Wait, where is it? Nah, I don't see it. Not here. Wait, don't tell me it's much more farther below. Somewhere deeper here? But I'm already...
No, uh, it's... <clears throat> it probably is inside here. Wow, I never expected this. Oh, it's all coming out now. It's probably inside here. Yo, there's withering, but it's so down below. It's underwater. Anyways, um, where was the other one? Tigers. Oh, that's um, I would rather not go anywhere near them. It would be a disaster if I did. But that's it, no more. The land of Samara features many species that contain an abundant amount of dendro. They will enter an activated state under the influence of electro in a scorched state when affected by pyro. Amortis research have collectively referred to them as Trilakshana creatures. Hmm. Really? Okay, this one is the last one. I will continue tomorrow. I am not even sure what I'm looking for. Is it this one? No. Okay, so it's not a plant. What am I looking for? Is it above? Bouncy mushroom. Oh wait, a bouncy mushroom? Oh wait, I think I know what they are, what it is, but where can I find one? A bouncy
the bouncy mushroom. Where is it? The one we used, the one where I always use the electro to jump higher. But wait, where is it? Probably higher? Is that it? Oh, we're already going out. Oh, there it is. <laughs> How crazy. So I guess that's it uh, for today's video. But wait a minute. Before before I end this, let me just get to this waypoint. Yeah, I guess that'll be it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. <clears throat> oh, there is... I need to take... Uh, a normal one and uh, I think we need to go back. We need to go back as so I need to also picture it with the with it being affected by electro <clears throat> stay close and you will live Yeah, just continue your dancing. Illusion shattered. Ah, oh, there we go. But wait, what else?
activated. Right. Is there another thing? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I guess uh, that'll be it for today's video. See you guys.